Ladies and gentlemen, I would not refer to the first question, the first part of your question, because you did not send us those. the topic of the discussion and uh, that we should speak about the values of classical the classical values in the context of modern world but first i would like to start about um, the fear that i feel during all those speeches that we have today all my heart i i am pro this founding of an institution that would take care of academic freedom and would try to save some classical values. But today, what I have heard, I have heard many declarations related to ideology and religion more than scientific analysis. If it's the perspective of Collegium Intermarium, then I think you would fail. It would be like a next part according to the benediction option, because the truth wins not without any um, weapon. In the today's world, those who are against the classical truth have a lot of weapons. They are numerous, and from this point of view, it's good that the first major uh, faculty of this university is the law, because if we have the law to fight and we use its tools, it's a very advanced, subtle, and without being professional in an academic way, it's not possible to face, to get against, but it's not enough. When I'm thinking about what I could tell you, I would like to give a message to advise you in a way and to give you my hope. I would like to advert you that the hard sociological analysis of our uh, technological uh, technosphere that we have nowadays. It is uh, highly disrupted. We cut our culture, the continuity that we have in transmission of culture that we have observed for thousands of years. Now we have a great rapture of this transmission that happened in the family, in the neighboring surrounding, in, at school, in institu regional institutions and in academia. The young generation is um, taken by the, techno the way of technology and taken out of the tradition. And it can turn out that it does not matter that if a nation has 300 years of tradition, 200, because the pressure of this infosphere, which is uh, in its structure so poisonous, that this immersion uh, will neutralize the force of the tradition. And if Susanna Zubov, Susanna Zubov, a retired professor of Harvard University, who has also published a book in Polish, the, uh, the Capitalism and Invigilation, we live in a world in which we see a putsch. Cybermen observe, thanks to great databases, how people think, think in many places and all over the world. The liberal democracy has led to uh, uncommon accumulation of power and knowledge of very few people. This power knowledge has been accumulated in a few hands, we would not save the values, the classical values. I would like to discuss one of them uh, closely in a minute. If we do not get to the Cybermen and break this mirror from which they can observe us. And now I'd like to talk about this hope that we are looking for.
I have read, I was very shocked, the lecture of Chantal de Sol and uh, those elements uh, the professor has presented today, and I thought, the cultural processes that influence us when we see the shock of some different values, when we see Christendom being confronted to laic uh, knowledge, to science that still works in the scientific looking for science, has really been damaged and ruined because of the Copernican revolution, Darwinism, and today it's under pressure or neuroscience and perspective for transhumanism, but it can still survive. While we look at those, what, this, what we call gender revolution, I think that if we could uh, thank to such initiatives like Collegium Intermarium reveal this strength of uh, uh, academic freedom and research so that we could analyze openly those LGBT environments to analyze them according to the methodology of scientific uh, research on adoption of uh, single-sex parents. And if we see uh, the results of this education of gender, LGBT, transfer, gender, transgender, then this trend of revolution, the liberal gender revolution, would not survive this shock with this science. Christianity has survived. It is weak. It is in a crisis because it's a very hard crisis. It's a shock with uh, culture and science, but the shock with the truth, the conflict with the truth. This is the good news, and this is the hope I have. But if here in this collegium, if in your, in your uh, collegium, you just uh, quote the ideological declaration instead of brightening and sharpening the analytical mind, we would not win this fight. Because the value of those classical issues is the love of which, which is symbolized by the icon of uh, Virgin Mary with uh, her son. You can be religiously indifferent, you, cannot, you can be a non-believer, but we should really doubt his humanity if uh, this person cannot see the message of humanity. This is a classical icon. It is a sign of love of uh, intimacy and investment that people have in their own lives. Uh, the mother love, the grandmother love. Civilization, the cipher civilization, how it was no, noticed in the book of Douglas Mary. Douglas Mary is his gay, his gay a declared one. He says about the craziness of the ideology because on the basis of not checked, not proven statements, it starts to rebuild the public institutions. And it's crazy. So the, the aim of Collegium Intermarum is uh, the professional fight of this uh, craziness and not just ideology. If this mission uh, succeed, then we would save the message of, um, of love. This is the end of my uh, statements. Uh, remember, we, we, we can't survive uh, the coming up from our failures because later there would be some sins reminded and this person would be cancelled. There is no caritas if we have charity, if we don't forget our previous sins. So we have to uh, 
instrument is got this problem. We have to fight against this Venetian mirror that the Cybermen are looking at us from. Because this is just a social, social hypothesis. In this great shock of culture, we would not save the sign of the Mother Mary with her son.